All right. I got my rescue kit right here. Oh. Plus, this bad boy. This is what I take most of my YouTube videos with. Olympus Tough. I don't remember the exact model number. Uh... Seven foot shock proof, 33 feet waterproof. There used to be a little silver lining over this bad boy. It's on the seafloor somewhere. I'm never going to find it, but there's no o rings behind it. I reckon it was just for uh, making everything look pretty. It's completely unnecessary. This right here is aluminum. This uh, outer, where the, one of them screws are, that's all aluminum. Anodized, whatever. Either way. Oh, and this big ass rubber piece right here. Benchmade Mel Pardue Spartaco Clip It Rescue. That's my favorite. This video is about this here Ontario Spax SP16 Tactical Tomahawk, made in America. It also comes with a, uh, a, a model in a, with an orange handle, fluorescent orange handle, so it's visible on the field. The one I got, which is this guy right here, I purchased October of 2011. So I've had it for uh, quite a while. I've brought it through as much torture as you could put one of these through, whether it's a bonfire hitting concrete, oysters, wood, uh, metal cables underwater, salt water, which is all I bring this in. And, you know, I bring it with me everywhere, to be honest. But uh, salt water, this is carbon steel right here. This motherfucker right here will last forever. I do not remember what the warranty is on it. It cost me $212 before shipping. I plan on buying another one, but I'm also looking at another tomahawk known as a uh, Timberwolf tomahawk, which is uh, just regular steel, I believe. I think it's just 440 steel, if I'm not mistaken. This right here is 1095 carbon, and... Um, <laughs> It gets the job done. You can open up with this wrench right here, which is very thick. You don't worry about cracking this. Open up a fire hydrant with it. Uh, oxygen tank valves, gas valves inside of your home. Um, this point right here will easily go through sheet metal. Um, it will go through a propane tank. It will go through a car door. I've ripped out a windshield with this once before. Uh, It'll cut through cinder block if you feel like chopping up some cinder blocks. It will do that. The corner pieces, not so much. Corner pieces, you got to really, really hit them hard. But at the same time, if you hit a uh, cinder block in half with this side of it, you can still chop something like, you know, a squash or, you know, an orange or, or something like that clean in half after hitting such a rough, heavy area like a concrete cinder block. Um, you can also split up coconuts. Not perfectly, but it's hard to split a coconut clean, you know, unless you're like Bruce Lee or something. But it can be done, and it can be done quick, and I'm talking within the first. Now, splitting wood with this, it doesn't, you know, splitting minimum size logs, like 24, 26 inch small, you know, 8, 10 inch diameter logs, uh, it doesn't necessarily splice through them that good. You're going to want to bring a hammer to it, you know, maybe up around this area, kink, and cut yourself in. Splitting timber for a fireplace or, or a campfire, whatever you wish, um, you can definitely do it like I, you know, suggest. Don't, don't hold it right here. That blade starts right at that fold right there. This is very dull right now because I, I tortured the shit out of it like I have been for years. But if you decide to split up some timber, hold it back at the handle. It will be but a little bit more you know, fatigue on your arm, but it will be the safe way to do it so that you don't have cuts inside of you know, your, your knuckles right here and here and shit. The sheath right here, very strong. Extremely strong. Very, very fucking strong. All this has been in salt water. No corrosion. No no rust. No, you know. Fire. Only rust you see is simply from the blade that has sat inside of it. Seeping through. And this is over pretty much five years.
You can throw it. It's a very good thrower. It weighs about 4.6 pounds, I would say. And uh, take out door hinges with it, door frames, uh, cinder blocks, like I said. Um, if you say you're an archery enthusiast or an archery, you know, bow hunter, and you land an arrow in something like a, a piggy down here in Florida, you know how to throw this bad boy close. You can hit him. You can tag him. You can break a bone. I mean, you throw that at a wounded animal that has an arrow sticking through it, and you do it right, you're going to be okay. Uh, you know, follow the blood trail. Very, very, very excellent tomahawk. I have in almost every single video of mine. I was looking in this morning to buy another tomahawk, and I, I, I really want this other one, but I also want to buy another one of these. I'll see which one's cheaper. I'll go from there. Y'all operate safely. This is just a quick video about just miscellaneous things I have on me on a daily basis. Stay safe now.